start by just skimming up all the cut edges just take any saw marks away get them nice and straight nice and smooth and then make up the outer sides Just hold the two pieces, the narrow pieces together for extra support while you're working on the edge. These should then just fit together. There's the leg, and now you can put the shape on the bottom end. So that's the first one cut out. Don't forget, you've got to make one left hand and one right hand. They need to be handed. All right, so that's the base cut out the shape. The next step is to cut the internal dividers. A really good tip here, if your saw has a capacity, is to square up one end of each side and clamp the two together and make the second cut through them both. That way, they're bound to end up exactly the same length. It's far more precise than trying to cut each one individually. So, there are the three shelves cut to size. The next job is to join these into the uprights. I think the biscuit jointer is again going to be the easiest and quickest way to do that. the side in place you can then mark out for the notch where the front leg is going to be set back into the front so just mark that and then I can cut it out with a jigsaw and now you can do a trial assembly make sure everything does actually fit together and then work out where the biscuit slots are going to go for the main uprights into the base. So it's all coming together, it doesn't look too bad. It all needs squaring up yet though as you can see. A couple of things to notice, the first one is I've cut this shelf back 15 millimeters to give the glass clearance to shut. And also all the shelves are set back from the uprights by about the same amount to allow me to slot in the plywood back. So now I've just cut these little shelves, fitted those on their biscuits, notched them out to take the front facing to the leg. 
Now the next job is to put all the grooves in the back of this section and the back of the main section to take the plywood back. I'm now just going to put it all together again for the final sort of trial assembly so I can cut the backs to the right size and then we can start thinking about the actual final assembly. The back should then just slide in. It also squares everything up as well. There it goes. It's a slight bow in the ply but I'll soon sort out. We'll tap, there's the back, nicely in place. And then the same again, the two side panels. Fits nicely into the groove. Okay, you can see again I've dismantled it all. Because I want to get it polished at this stage, when it's all assembled it's going to be very difficult to get in all the nooks and crannies. I want to polish all the individual pieces. Before I can do that I've got to clean them up and for that I've used a random orbit sander with a 140 grit abrasive on it. It gives me a lovely smooth clean finish. So I'm sanding all the individual pieces and then I'm going to run a tiny radius down all the exposed edges. It just makes it that little bit softer. It looks really professional I think rather than just leaving really sharp edges. Maybe it's just a matter of taste. So sand it, get it nice and clean, run a radius down the edges and then I can apply my polish.